Hey friendos, how's it going? It's The Enforcer here once again with another Jersey unboxing video and the tri-state area is well represented here. I decided because I've only got two jerseys of uh, this specific team, the Islanders, uh, here and as you saw a video that I posted um, a little bit ago, maybe about a week, week and a half ago or so, um, I unboxed this reverse retro New York Islanders that really looks like a third jersey really clean really good really understated how nice this one looks and as I was perusing through eBay as I normally do I saw that this one eBay seller named cap galaxy had a couple jerseys available for sale in my size they had a lot of pictures of it so that's always a positive sign for me and I picked up this Adam Henrique um, uh, Adidas uh, Anaheim Ducks jersey. So what I decided to do with this one to dress up the set a bit is just give you my tri-state area jerseys that I have here. So I got the reverse retro Islanders, old school CCM, uh, Lady L Liberty jersey, uh, not a reverse retro. Um, Winter Classic uh, tw 2012 New York Islanders, this chain stitching and this felt feels phenomenal and the cream looks beautiful. Um, I've got the Heritage um, White New Jersey Devils. I have the Christmas Red and Green Should Never Be Seen uh, New Jersey Islanders here and of course the Fishermen here. So Tri-State Area is in effect here for all the friendos out here that are fans of all of this and you guys can all fight amongst each other. I'm sure I'm sure the Ranger fans yelling at the Islander fan and the Ranger fan is still hanging uh, 94 over the uh, over the Devils, but then the Devils can say 95 over onto them and all that good stuff. And then there's a fisherman just looking like he needs to go get some fish sticks. But anyway, friendos, I want to thank you once again for, for joining me here. And this one picked up this baby here, Cap Galaxy, eBay. Um, I think this one was about 70 bucks to go with the other one I picked up for 60 with some reduced shipping. Uh, decided to pull this trigger right here. So, as always, that beautiful sound of a jersey coming out of the bag is always wonderful. And like I said in the video before, I try and hold on to these bags because I, um, I do a, you know, I'm losing weight here going through some of my older jerseys that just sort of fit way too big on me. So I'll throw them up on eBay or or something like that and, and I like to package them into those so I hold on to those and um, that's what I do with that so off we go with and of course you're gonna get that tissue paper in there and here we go this is a very basic jersey here but still looks looks very good and I'll, I'll do a side side by side of the reverse retro with this one here uh, just like uh, Larry NHL did uh, the hockey guy has done um, why not why, why don't I do it too so here is the home New York Islanders Adidas Jersey in a 60 now if you guys have uh, seen any of my unboxing videos that have um, these um, these laces here you already know how I feel but if this is your first time watching the enforcer I'll tell you how I feel about these things I think they suck I think they're absolutely garbage they do nothing nothing to the look of this jersey other than look you just got two dangles here what I normally do this this is what the old enforcer does here I'll go on and I'll get the um, the end of this and I'll just lay this thing down here and then also I'll probably put this one down into here just because I hate looking down and seeing this thing flopping around so this is what I do with mine and I kind I really wish I really 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 wish that Adidas and these NHL teams or whoever's designing these jerseys if you must insist on putting these laces onto a jersey 
please just make them the one that are already pre-sewn down. I mean, even, even I'm not the big fan of this look, but at least it's down and it's out of the way. So that's what I do with mine. If other people do it a different way, they don't care to each their own, but I just I just think it's, it's absolutely horrible. So this is an Arrow Ready 60 Adidas. Basically like the Mets colors here, you know, meet the Mets, meet the Mets. Um, right here with that Mets um, blue and orange, essentially. And I know that the, the uh, Islanders, you know, this is one of their old school looks. They went back from this color, this darker, richer uh, blue to, uh, you know, from this one back to this old school one. I mean, it looks all good now, but honestly, this is a way cleaner jersey here. And once again, I'll go through through everything here. This one is a factory installed Adidas. It is a Barzell. All right, and it, 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 it looks like, listen, if, if I go back like this, you're like, ooh, man. Man, what a looker. But then you get up close and you're like. It's like wiki 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 wiki. And and as you guys can see, and I've I've shown you guys here before, but this one will show you perfectly. There is no stitching, there is no uh uh dif differentiating um uh between the white and the orange that they have here, that's all one layer and only the stitching is on the outside here. So, and I don't get it. I mean, this is this is what Adidas is put, putting out. They put so much effort, so much time into the main logos and and the, the design of the neckline and making sure that the NHL shield, you know, is, is hard to counterfeit. But man, the name and number plating that you get pre-installed from them is absolutely awful it is subpar it is not that good it's not that fun it's 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 just cheap and I really think Adidas you could do better than that especially for the price you're charging people for a name and numbered retail price jersey on your NHL website or a team stores and this is this is the quality that you send out for name and numbering. I mean, I guess if I didn't know any better, I guess that's fine, but since I do know better, I think this is abysmal. And I guess if you're getting this as a gift and you're not, you're a casual fan, fine, but for a collector, eh, I don't know. So, you got the 13 on here, and then no shoulder patches, very clean, very basic jersey, there is nothing on either side. Um, and you've got the the blue of the jersey going into one yellow stripe into a smaller blue one into the white sleeve. This thing here is going to get absolutely wrecked if you wear this doing anything at all. You go out for, for a bite to eat or, or you, you just lay this on your center console and you just do something. This baby is just just getting so, so dirty. So there's not much here. And as I said, uh, I'll show you the, the logo here. In here, you've got the island of New York. Um, oh, you have Long Island <laughs> right here. Sorry, guys. You have Long Island right here. You have the NY. You got the hockey stick as part of the Y. You've got the four dashes in here signifying the four Stanley Cups that they won in a row. You got New York, uh, you got Islanders right there. And as I did, uh, somebody um, um, told me in the um, video for this baby here, actually, um, where they originally were, where they did play at Nassau Coliseum, I thought that that was the point. That basically points to the county of uh, Suffolk County, I think it is. Roughly that general area. It doesn't point precisely to it, but they're trying to, with this, give you the rough area of where on the island Nassau Coliseum is. So it's not precise, but still that is the uh, um, uh, reason for them doing that. So that's why it looks like that. Not 
spot on, but a general area of where that is. So there that goes. And I will slap this baby on now, as I always do. Sorry, getting a little hot and heated down here. These, these, these lights, they're killing me. And the old enforcer likes to melt. So, um, so my apologies if anyone is put off by the enforcer melting away. Uh, probably could do me some good to melt away a little bit. So here it is. New York Islanders, home, Barzell, Adidas, factory installed, name and number kit that I'm be honest with you, not a massive fan of. But still, I think this baby looks pretty damn good. I think it'll actually look, that's the one thing with the Islanders, right? I mean, um, for a long time, the team wasn't that good. So a lot of times the jerseys that they would slap on are like, oh, okay, whatever, you're putting lipstick on a pig. But now that they're good and they're cohesive and their defense is sound, um, this just looks more menacing now. And I guess the winning cures all, right? So friendos, come on with me. This is gonna be a quick spinner rooney here. So you've got the Adidas neckline, these god awful um, laces that, that I do the old enforcer style with this one. New York Islanders right there classic logo classic logo not like that guy over there classic like this guy right over here no shoulder patches then just a simple orange two blue two white down at the sleeve and away you go and then down here at the bottom once again very simple very very um, uh, a basic, I, you know what, I might even call it basic, classic, very classic New York Islanders kit. Now, now that I've got this baby on, now it'll be easier to see the difference here. Now, clearly the logo is the same. Okay, other than the blue on the inside of it being different, it is the same. But where this thing wins for me is right here on the sleeve. It goes white to orange, right? Whereas the original one goes orange to white. You know, let me see. So you see that's, that's the difference there in the color and this one has no laces so this one this one gets a step down compared to this one this one tell you it, it, once again if you guys saw the review of this one here I am a massive fan of this one this one completely grew on me and I'm happy that I was able to add this one to the collection for a good cause sports K thank you for this one thank you thank you so much for having this one available and uh, they have other ones of this, not in the size 60. Every other size they have at sportsk.com. Um, highly recommend if you're looking for an Islanders jersey. If you're looking for a deal level one, see if Cap Galaxy on eBay has this one in your size. Pick up a Barzell or maybe they have a different players in Anders Lee. Who knows? Maybe they have that in your size. You can scoop up, pick up yourself a nice New York Islanders piece. If not, the far superior Islanders jersey. And I can't believe I'm saying this because when I saw this as a reverse retro uh, a teaser, didn't think much of it. I thought they, they're not even trying. They're, they're, they're not even playing. But this one right here, hands down of their current sets of jerseys, that's a winner right there. All right, and as I said in the video before, um, I'm going to try to do a little bit of, uh, of stripping. Let that sink in a little bit. Not that type of stripping, you filthy bastards. No, what I'm talking about is uh, these jerseys. And as you've seen, I'm not a fan. Seems like I'm very negative today, but I'm not a fan of the name and number kit that Adidas puts onto these jerseys. But a lot of times when you find deals out there, with players that are name and number uh, kits, 
I know Full Moon Jersey has a lot of Reeboks that have factory installed. Reebok does it much the same way. I picked up a, a, a Blues Petrangelo that is a, a factory installed name and number kit. And I want to get into stripping off these names and numbers and get them back to blank jerseys so that possibly if I wanted to get them customized properly, send them off to Hockey Authentic, send them off to Cool Hockey, get a proper hand-stitched name and number uh, kit thrown onto them if I choose to. But like I said in my other jer uh, uh, jersey unboxing of that Henrique, this one is going to be the guinea pig. I'm gonna see what I can do about taking off this haul and this nine and uh, do a lot of research and see what I can do. And then I, I'll shoot a before and after, maybe a little bit of the process here or there. I'm not sure how I wanna go about it, but that's sort of where I wanna get next in, um, in my jersey collecting, is sort of uh, uh, stripping off a lot of these uh, name and numbers that just don't look all that good. And also the other thing that I know, because I'm on the upper edge of, uh, of the sizing that Adidas does. There is no 62, there is no 64, there is nothing like that and I've noticed. And uh, maybe Larry NHL can help me or maybe someone else that has factory installed name and number kits. Um, I've noticed um, that certain ones will not give you that same sort of stretch and that same sort of bounce. This one isn't all that bad but sometimes when they apply the number name and number kits, sometimes you feel like your jersey's not giving you that proper stretch in the back, so you're losing maybe about a half an half an inch or so of stretch or comfort that you normally would have. And I've noticed that mostly on factory installed Adidas name and number jersey. So I'm gonna see what I can do. You know, I'm not gonna go in there full foolishly and, and not know what's going on. I do have a seam stripper. Do have a lot of little gizmos and, and tips and tricks um, that I'm gonna give a try, and I'll let you guys know. So that's what the old enforcer is gonna try and do uh, in his uh, downtime, um, in between uh, uh, jersey unboxings. Possibly get that out to you. So friendos, anyway, let me know what you think. the The collection of the Islanders is growing here. Like I've uh, um, a few weeks ago. I only had this one. Now I've I've 200 percented it. Now I've got three of them here. Is that them right? Who knows? Maybe it's Steiner math. Who knows? But friendos, anyway, thank you so so much for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe if you made it to the end of the video here. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. On the road to a thousand subs. If you just happen to catch me, check out my other jersey unboxing videos. Got Crenshaw Chronicles. Got a couple food fast food reviews. Uh, just random stuff going on. So I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so, so much. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.